You're here with the Mouse Vibes and it's day two of the D23 Expo. Today we want to go shopping for exclusive D23 merchandise, go check out upcoming projects in the Imagineering Pavilion, and we're joined by a special guest. D23, there is a 6 a.m. virtual queue for all shopping, and we actually got a callback for the Mickey's of Glendale shop. So we're gonna go rage and buy some really exclusive stuff. I'm really pumped. Do you still have your uh, your employee discount? Ah, oh, man. I think since I am an icon, an icon of the Disney company, even though I don't work there anymore, I think I can get you guys like 50% off. What? Yeah. All right, let's we'll go. See, we'll see. Okay, we are at the D23 Expo Mickey's of Glendale shop. This is the only place on property that you can get D23 Expo branded merch. We did have to do a 6 a.m. virtual queue. I'm really excited because I love things that are a timestamp for a memory. So let's go get a couple items and I'm gonna surprise Nick because they only let Danny and I in here, so I have to get Nick something. This is adorable. I don't think this is Lounge Fly branded. It's just like, oh no, it is. It's a Lounge Fly. This is a D23 Expo Lounge Fly. I think this is super cute. It's gonna run you 75 bucks. Look at the attention to detail. One of my favorite things about the D23 Expo logo this year is that Mickey has shiny pants and shoes. I love it. I wish you had them all the time. But it's special for D23 Expo. <laughs> okay, this is the shirt that Nick and I had our eyes on. I just think this is awesome. And the thing I love most about it, it has kind of a tie-dye, like, wash distress feel. It has Disney 100 on it and turn it around. Super cute. I love that it has the year on it. I think I'm going to get us a, a shirt to share. I love it. How much is this? It's going to run you $27.99. Woohoo! Going in my bag. They also have these really cool baseball tees. They're really, really nice with embroidered Disney on them. And then down here it has D23 Expo 2022. Super, super cute. I don't need another coffee cup, but I'm really into this coffee cup and it's ginormous. It's awesome. Okay, I think I found Nick the perfect surprise gift since he couldn't come in here. It's a dad hat. None of us need more hats, but this is so cute. It has an iridescent Mickey on it. Yeah, on the back, it's gonna say D23 Expo embroidered. And this is gonna run you $29.99. I think Nick's gonna love this. Or I'm gonna love it. I'll, I'm gonna wear it, let's be real. <laughs> For all of my spirit jersey kings and queens, they have a limited edition D23 Expo spirit jersey right here. Look at the attention to detail of this glitter. So pretty. And you're gonna have these glitter stars on the front. My favorite part about this though, again, is Mickey and his silver shiny pants. I wish I had those pants. This spirit jersey is gonna run you $74.99. You can only get it here. It's an exclusive. I don't need another spirit jersey. I have way too many, but this is super cute. And when I wear white, I spill on it. It's like a rule of passage. Okay, I am done shopping here at the Marketplace Expo. Honestly, I didn't mind the virtual queue. This was a very seamless process and it wasn't crowded, but I didn't go too ham because we have two other shops, but I did get Nick a surprise. So let's go show him what we got. Oh, he's right here. You found me over here. I got you some goodies, babe. You did? Yeah. Yes. Wait, hold on. Look where we are right now, by the way. We're overlooking the entire expo. I have this awesome time lapse that's going off right now. There's so many people over there. It's lunch clock. Let's go see. You're coming in with some extra bags you didn't have before. What do we got in here? Okay, so I know you don't need another dad hat, but what? I got you this really cool iridescent Mickey D23 hat. I love dad hats. It has a D23 Expo on the back. Oh, that's awesome. And it's not Velcro. No, it's not Velcro. Thank you. And then I got this for us to share because we share all of our shirts. I do not share shirts with Joe Rody. Oh, well. <laughs> Awesome! It's cool, right? Yeah, blue really makes your earring pop. I was telling Danny, like, it just feels like really good material. And then the front has a D23 Expo logo on it. That's really cool. Yeah, we didn't get our annual pass discount, magic key, whatever, which is a bummer, but this is a timestamp to keep memories in the moment. Hold on, they didn't honor your employee discount? <laughs> no, they didn't honor my employee discount or my magic key discount. <sighs> 
We've made our way back onto the show floor. We're gonna continue the shopping day. We're gonna hit up our second shop right now, which is the Mickey's of Glendale main store. I don't know really what to expect. I know we've been joining virtual queues for shopping, which I'm not used to at all. Let's go check it out. Five minutes later. Slight change of plans. It looks like everyone and their mom is going to Mickey's of Glendale. One of the largest panels of the day just let out and everyone had the same idea. They probably got hyped for the trailers, like let's go spend some money. We're gonna come back to this area in just a little bit. We have been hearing that they're honoring your virtual queue all day long. So we're gonna come back, test it out, and hopefully we can get back into Mickey's of Glendale. This is called the Wonderful World of Dreams. I don't exactly know what's inside of it, but I have a feeling it's gonna be magical. We're gonna learn a lot. And the line's really short, so it's a win-win. I do know someone here who actually might know what it is. His name is Joe Sassani. What's up? <laughs> what are we getting into? Wow, this is gonna be our next look at everything coming for Disney parks, resorts, and experiences. And it's all centered around this man himself, Walt Disney. We're gonna get a look at some things for Disneyland, for Walt Disney World, and for our international parks as well too. So I can't wait. This is the highlight of the expo every single time and uh, we're doing it next. How lucky am I right now? I'm with Just Ask Danny, who's the D23 expert and the most famous imaginary of all time, Joe Rody. You are lucky. We're in the wonderful world of dreams. We're about to see all of the upcoming things coming to all the Disney parks around the world. It's probably not gonna be as amazing as all the things I've done, but I know the other Imagineers are gonna pop off. Nothing's gonna be as good as what you've done, right? You gave us Pandora, you gave us Alvani, you gave us Disney's Animal Kingdom. I have high hopes, but let's settle down, okay? Let's let's all give the respect to Joe Rowe. Yeah, it's honestly the number one thing no one ever talks about for your career, Mexico Pavilion. This is gonna be all the stuff for Tokyo Disney Resort. This is the Fantasy Spring stuff? Okay, look, there's a frozen ride, Arendelle coming to Tokyo Disney Sea, and I was just telling Danny and Shelton, I've been to Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland Resort. And you just go balls to the ball? I'm so happy that Frozen is being represented at that specific park. It is gonna be absolutely insane. I like literally wanna cry. I love Frozen so much, and just seeing this, I can't wait to book our next trip. Like it's, remember how much attention to detail was in Tokyo, babe? It's my favorite park in the world. That's actually only 50% of that project are those two pieces. We're also getting Neverland that's coming over there, and something that's for Tangled as well. Yes, like I'm excited for everything, but I'm most excited for Frozen. Like it's just, it's not represented here at US Parks enough, and I'm really happy it's gonna be in Tokyo. Thanks, Joe. And then right here is the ride vehicle for the Frozen attraction. This thing looks exactly like Pirates of the Caribbean. Except it's gonna be better. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you think they're gonna use some of that Shanghai Pirates technology in this ride? I think it needs to have it. Um, it actually kind of also looks familiar to the boats in Epcot too for Frozen. Oh yeah, yeah a little bit, yeah. A little Maybe bit. a little bit bigger. Get that line going, you guys. Right off the bat, two things I'm noticing as well. These are both water attractions, yes. both of them. Why do you think that is? It just makes sense. I mean, Tangled Water Attraction, you know, when they sing, the boats, everything, the lanterns, and then Frozen, I feel like it makes sense because it's like Frozen, water, bright breezes, water, ice. And it's at Tokyo Disney Sea. Yes! So we're looking at Tokyo Disney Sea's largest expansion, the Fantasy Springs. And which attraction are you looking forward to the most from the four? Oh, between the four of them? Yes. I'm looking forward to the Tinkerbell attraction, which is right over here. She's getting her own attraction? Yes. Yeah, Finally. The area. And the final attraction coming to Fantasy Spring right here is going to be the Peter Pan attraction ride vehicle. This ride is rumored to be a similar to Soren, but looking at this ride vehicle, it looks completely different. Is this something that we're going to see come to Avengers Campus as part of the Quinjet? This is absolutely insane. D23 is epic. Right now we're in this little area where you can see all the facades and little scale models of attractions coming to parks all around the world. They have a little replica of Toontown over here, which looks Looks awesome and they also have the new Splash Mountain Ray theme, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. All of this is next level. I cannot wait. The Disney hype is real right now.
this is really cool. The statue of Walt is actually going into Epcot right after this expo. We're gonna touch it and he'll be there forever. Woo! Thank you, Walt. This area is my favorite so far of the expo because we've got to talk to so many Imagineers that have worked on these projects for so long. It is awesome to get their perspective and talk to them. And, you know, they really miss me being inside of their meetings. They're like, we really miss you, Joe. That's the most special part to me is talking to the people that actually put all their hard work into this. I'm most excited for Toontown. Um, I love Toontown. I've been going to Toontown specifically since I was a kid. I have so many good memories there, and I'm just really excited that instead of bulldozing it and doing something else, they decided to put some TLC into it, and I think it's going to be really, really awesome. I can't wait to see that come to life. And there's a fort area, Max's Fort, that had a power line suit hanging. And there's a fountain that you can actually play in. You know on Disney property, they're like, don't play with the fountains. They're going to have an actual fountain that you can like go in and play with. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. The other thing that we saw, too, for Tiana's Bayou Adventures, we got confirmation that the Voodoo King himself is coming back, Dr. Facilier. He's at the top of the lift hill. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm excited. I'm ready. A lovely Mouse Vibes watcher just ran me down and gave me this beautiful pin and said that it's going to fit with my entire outfit and aesthetic today. I didn't get her name. She just like came up to me and she said, keep up the good work. We love you. Thank you so much. This means the world and this pin is fire. Connection. He was your father. I could stay in that one area forever and ask a billion questions that no one cares about, but it's time for us to do our first panel. We're going to go to the Encanto panel. Really excited about this. I'm so pumped for the Encanto panel. I love that movie. But you guys, this is Nick's first D23 panel ever in ever. his life. And I feel like we got a really good one and we're really hoping that Lin-Manuel Miranda comes out. Holy smokes, look how massive this room is. All of this is for Encanto. So excited, and you know, if it's in this big of a room, you know it's gonna be a big announcement. You know it, right? I hope so. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I'm trapped in I'm trapped in Bruno's tower. <laughs> and if you remember, they never really explained how Mirabel got down from there after that. Like, shh. What parting words before you vanish into little pixels that you would like for the audience to know? <laughs> Each of you has a favorite character. Each of you, Camilo is my person, or Dolores is my person. Um, and that thing that made it so difficult is, is what makes it special. And that's also weirdly the theme of the film. The thing that's trickiest to go through is, is you know, what becomes your, your blessing later. So um, I'm really thrilled uh, to be here. Um, I don't know what happens to me when I disappear. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never disappear because you're always with us in our hearts because you've given us the soundtrack of our lives. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> panel was a success that was awesome uh, it was pretty much like a celebration of Encanto as a whole all of that kind of led to a huge announcement we were expecting a treehouse announcement we didn't get that today but we did find out they will be playing two nights at the Hollywood Bowl November 11th and 12th they do Nightmare Before Christmas at the Hollywood Bowl they've done Coco it's such an iconic place to see music and I think that that's the perfect place for them to perform I'm really stoked about that. when those two days sell out because they will sell out expect to see Encanto make its way onto Broadway or some type of oh. stage show eventually it has to, the number one album ever. Dude, like literally those two songs back to back in COVID that popped off, like, you're absolutely right. Also something when we were up in that panel, our friends Peter and Kitchen from Ordinary Adventures ran into Joe Rody. The real Joe Rody is down here. Hi, Nick and Ashley. I love your costumes. <laughs> Shout out to Peter and Kidra from Ordinary Adventures for grabbing that video and showing him our cosplay. You guys are real ones. We love you so much. We just got word that Joe Rody is on the floor. So my Joe Rody wants to meet real Joe Rody and they can be Joe Rodys together. Perfect. 
way. So. Did you the whole thing? Yeah, oh, I put, sure. put this That's together. Really like sure. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm like sorry, geeky out here, like my favorite companion <laughs> ever. Okay, come here, you gotta take it. <laughs> This is what I've been wanting to happen forever and I've just gotten so many compliments from all the Disney staff and like that just made my day. Like my life is made. I don't care about anything else. I was amazing. What a guy. Absolutely insane. I thought World of Disney was crazy over in Orlando at Disney Springs. This is a whole other level. Everyone is spending money. Everyone is on the hunt for their favorite Disney goods in here. Do you know how you get Ashley to buy all your merchandise and make a really cute bag? I've said it once, I'll say it again. I'm addicted to backpacks and bags. I love bags. And this is actually like cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. How much do you think this is gonna be, babe? I'm gonna say 65. Really? I thought it'd be like 150. It's actually 60 dollars. Boom. I don't think that's bad at all. That's a great price. It's super cute. And you're only gonna be able to find that right here, right now. So yes, get I know, on I if, you, get if it. you love something, get it. Did you get the backpack? No, Joe! Of course I got the backpack. Let's be real. Let's don't pop it. Don't pull any punches right now. No. So so far, what do you have? I have the backpack and I'm debating these ears, but like they feel really tight. And I'm like worried about getting a headache, but they're so cute. Honestly, you gotta get them. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, shake your hair for everyone. Oh. Joe Rody. Oh, you look awesome. That looks so cute. It does? Yes! This is the Avatar starter kit. It comes with a tail and headband. A season's must have. And then these are the ears, Ash. Okay, these are the ears and they light up. I think these are really cool. I just don't know like if they're gonna be comfortable because you guys, I don't know if you can hear. This is like hard, intense plastic. They're not I'll, very bendy. I'll try them. You wanna try them on? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Those look like they hurt. Slight pinch on both sides. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta pay to play. And if I wanna do this all night, I'm gonna get a little pinch. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. Look at these shirts. What is this shirt? It's a nice material. It's, I don't use that material. It's I don't like know. Athletic wear or something. That's really? Crazy. It's yeah. leisure wear? Leisure wear. This is thicker. Definitely will make you sweat. All right, I finally found something. Everything in this area has been picked through by average guy size, so I found one thing. Does it look like I'm swimming in it? No. Turn around, babe. Oh, wow. I love like the earth minimalist type of vibes with this. It looks really good. I'm gonna get it. I actually like the large. Yeah, the large. How do you feel? I feel good about it, and a good quality sweater it's got thumb holes. has the thumb holes. Boom. Oh, yeah. It's like, look. Can we just talk about their lashes? Look at that lash game. It's almost as good as Joe Rody's lashes. I did what I always say I'm not gonna do, and that is rage. Like, I got so much stuff, and they took our magic key discount here, and it took down the price by a lot, which is always awesome. This was a great way to close out day two of D23 Expo. Just wanna clarify again, the shopping was next level. If you do wanna shop at D23, make that your priority. Get here quick. The sizes were really picked through, but it's all good. I found something I really love. I wanna give a shout out to all our friends today for making our D23 Expo. Day two, incredible. It really took a village to navigate Ashley and Joe Rody. Shout out to everyone. Um, I want to just like say a special shout out to my bestie Danny, who I wouldn't have met Joe Rody had Danny and then Chelton called me like, Get over here now! And navigated us through the virtual queue and every panel and we still have one more day left, but I'm just like so grateful. I feel like we did D23 right and I can't believe we have the parks panel tomorrow. You gave a big shout out to Danny. I'm going to give a big shout out to Chelton. The combination is lethal. <laughs> Happy D23! All right, and that's going to wrap up day two at D23 Expo 2022. Today was incredible, guys. We got to see so many things. I did my first panel today and we did a little bit of shopping. Ashley, what was your favorite part of D23 day two? Meeting Joe Rody, duh. And just like people being so happy about my costume and asking for photos. And obviously seeing the Encanto cast saying we don't talk about Bruno live. Today was awesome and I'm just really glad that we got to get our shopping done. You guys, I did some damage. Yeah! If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. It really helps us grow. And if not, thanks, thanks for, for stopping, stopping by. by. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Courtney Fowler who's here. We've been friends, childhood friends since forever. She's best friends with my sister and her collection right now is the hottest thing at D23. Congratulations, Courtney.